Sorry, man. It would have been amazing as an intro for this video from Andertons.co.uk, where I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. And together we form an amazing team of pure <laughs> energy and enlightenment to you through this video camera. What's our name? We need a name. Like, I know we've got the Avengers or... What other group of superheroes were Maybe there? Maybe you could think of a name for us and mention it in the comments the section below. The, no, I don't know what it's called, the Retardos. <laughs> the Retardos makes me sound like I'm some kind of mentally challenged individual with developmental requirement. Let's talk about guitars. not the case. Let's talk about guitars. Why don't we, since we're here to do that. Okay, this is going to be a nice and short video for your entertainment here. Um, Epiphone. We love Epiphone. Um, they have a humongously popular guitar in their range called the Sheraton, Sheraton 2. Named after a hotel chain. Allegedly. And uh, if you see it now, you'll see it's um, this kind of shape, but it's got two humbuckers here and a regular uh, tunomatic sort of stop tail piece like a Les Paul would have. But back in 1962, it looks to look like this or like this. Uh, and these are reissues. You haven't taken the plastic off of your No, because I did the first one and discovered it was incredibly difficult <laughs> and I just ran out of botherance for the challenge of removing plastic. So, so for 2012, which I guess is what, is that 50 years since 1962? I think yes. it is, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> Epiphone have done a limited edition uh, re-release of the Sheraton, the 1962 Sheraton. So if you look over Rob's shoulder here, you'll see a, a sunburst and a red guitar, which are the same spec as the natural one here. And then I've got one which is only available in Cherry with a, a it's, I'm gonna say Bigsby, but it's not a Bigsby. It's, it's, it works like a Bigsby, but it's obviously Epiphone's own kind of version. It's a little bit it. more ergonomically it's a bit smaller, engineered. Isn't it? Um, with this very um, high tech way of adjusting how long the tremolo arm is. You've seen this here? Yeah, that's clever. You can unscrew it and, and, and either Screw make it, it longer or shorter. Yeah. So the basic spec of these is it's a maple laminate body, just like a, you know, 335 uh, is. Mahogany neck, rosewood board. That looks a bit like a butterfly from the front, doesn't it? You're doing that thing where you see those black shapes, don't you? And you what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Bear. Bear. They both have um, Gibson USA mini humbuckers on them. How do you think a mini humbucker sounds different to a regular humbucker? I think it sounds exactly the same, it's just smaller. Honestly, I haven't ever noticed a difference. I had a, a Telecaster from a different company with a mini bucker in the neck, and I just thought it sounded like a humbucker, really. Yeah. Is there a technical difference? Well, no, I think they're just, I guess, maybe smaller magnets and smaller coils. So I can think of a really a different. good benefit to a mini humbucker. What's that? Is it gives you more room for the fingers if you're a hybrid picking ninja? <laughs> All that kind of stuff, because you've got room to get your claws and paws in. The bridge on Rob's guitar here has a name, and I'm going to give you 50p if you can pronounce it. It says it at the bottom there, look. Frequentator. That's it, 50p. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was quite hard to say, but obviously not. Look, I might have to write it to you. I know there's 50p, look, there you are. <laughs> That's half what Rob normally gets paid to do now, these videos. The, the reason <laughs> that the, the skinny strings have this upreaching length and the fatter strings have this lower down position is really a statement on modern Western society and diet and its challenges in 21st century and, and pursuing your musical goals. The, the fatter side isn't making it, help me. In, <laughs> and the, the, help, the skinny side is, is reaching up right. towards its goal of the bridge. Or it could be to do with the brake angle uh, or it could be to do with the tension. We don't know. This is my orange rock, well, mine, I'd like it to be mine. Mm. My orange rock of a 52, uh, which is just- What do you got, neck pickup? Uh, I'm on- pick Das Bridge. Let me give you mine. I'm on the, the bridge, and this is just going through a Fender Blues Junior. A nice, tasteful gold one, <coughs> I hasten to add, which reminds me of Gold Member from the Austin Powers uh, films, but sounds great. I'll turn it up. <laughs> that is nice. That's yeah, good, isn't it? Middle position? Do it. We'll compare middles. We'll compare middles. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Mine's a bit bigger than yours. <laughs> G this time. Purposely out of tune. Yeah, that's that's the <laughs> tuning of the 60s. What's the neck? D, up? neck. I like it, I like it. I like it. Are they kind of just mini humbuckers, just a tad less fierce than a humbucker would be? I honestly couldn't tell you, man. I don't I don't know. I think they're probably better for metal and really? way more of a kind of a thrash tone. 
in this. Am I wrong? I'm highly unlikely. Give me facial expressions like I'm wrong. I think that, that, that you get the benefit of a humbucker in that it's hum cancelling, but I think you just get a slightly quieter output. So it's like a like a low output humbucker. Less I think. raps. You think Possibly. it's less wire? Right? Maybe. Of course, if, if we were professional, we'd have looked this up in the, you know, and asked someone. And that's half what... of the fun of an Anderton's <laughs> review. Why don't you play us a couple of the lead phrases in that new scale I taught you using your, your neck position? Bit of Dorian, apparently, there. But, uh... um, these are limited edition, they sell for about £600, they come with a hard case, um, they're only in the, the colours that you see, so that the, the hardtail one is in natural red or sunburst, the tremolo version is only in cherry, they're very cool, I like these, we've probably sold them all before this video even goes up, so you know. And they've got a really good place to store your plectrums, <laughs> just in case you, you needed somewhere to store them. Right, and, let's play. Uh, yes, let's play some some. Blues. I'm going to play that. Um, British um, user of this type of guitar. Basically, it's about as much as we need to do for this video, unless you want to. But all it's had to do else. is for you to say explosion, an explosion to occur, and this plectrum to fly at the video screen at the okay. velocity of Monkey Lord power. Say explosion. Explosion. Huh! 